Okay. Okay. It's okay. Uh, no, the reason is that I, because it when 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 it rains, this surface will be very slippery. Yeah. So when I, I apply this chemical, it will. Yeah. It not you know slip you off when you run. It's safer for the joggers. Now over here we have 13 of these shelters. All mm. over here. This is shelter. Now this is the plant which the local call it Paku Kijang. Paku Kijang. Or a, a deer deer fern. D E E R. Deer. deer. Mm. Oh. Because uh, why why do it's called uh, Paku Kijang? Because deer like to uh, eat it. <laughs> you might wonder. Uh, the plastic the black plastic thing? Uh-huh. We are actually doing the replanting of this forest. Oh. Uh, we have classic planting all over. Planting new trees so that this forest will survive. Because as you can see, every year we have trees being uprooted by strong wind. Because the reason is that this soil is very poor nutrition and mm. down there is cemented, you know? Mm. So basically the roots of the trees is, is spreading. See? Spreading. It doesn't go to the ground. Okay. Unlike the mixture of forest, the root go to the ground. And that is why uh, these trees are easily being rooted by strong winds. Uh -huh. So that is why we need to replant trees. And of course, the, the trees that we plant are suitable in this type of forest. Okay? Mm. Is it the um, tropical area or maybe rainforest? The ants get thing bigger. Mm, well, or in like the hot, humid place, the ant is bigger than. I believe even in in in, in Africa, we, we we can find that ants also bigger, mm. big ants in Philippines, for example. But mostly in tropical countries, of course. And now you see, I'm talking about this. Uh, this is also one of the commercial tree. Hmm. The Kapkasi. Uh, this is mang sawa, also one of the hardest wood, hmm. but not as real as not, not as hard as this. Langan batu are vegan. Okay. Yeah, we, we can. So there are a lot of white animals in within this area. I believe not that many anymore. Actually, if you come probably early in the morning, probably around ten, you can see a lot of monkeys here. Yeah, because we. As I'm, as I'm telling you, in the 60s, this was a forest reserve. Forest reserve means nobody is allowed to freely cut the trees and all that. So that was like a governmental policy to that's protect right. the area back then, even back then? Yeah, that's right. Mm. See there are people? Mm -hmm. Now, this is one good example. You see? That, that, this one, this is the belong to that uh, tree. This is a typical Krangas forest, you see? Krangas forest, the floor is covered with thick leaves. Mm. It, sometimes it can be about three feet, three feet deep, yeah? covered with, yeah? So once you step in, it's like it. Yeah. And the, the, the uh, this, the, the, the typical type of Krangas forest is that you can see through see through. You can see from here to over there. Right. Mm, okay. Oh, the, um, the no. tree trunk is thin, right? Yeah, the tree trunk is thin. Usually small. Look at it. Small, small, small. The reason that it is small is because this is not a good soil. Infertile soil. And most of them have thick leaves. Like this one. Thick leaves mm -hmm. to prevent water loss. Because this soil is very dry, so they retain water in the leaves. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, we call it makaranga trees. 
-hmm. Look at the leaves, they are big leaves. Yeah. To retain water. I mean, and whenever we have these trees, we will have a lot of ants. Is there any like advantage for the ants to get them? I'm not sure because the way I look also, I don't, I don't see the beauty of it. And, and another thing is that this tree, when, whenever we clear a forest, clear a piece of land in the forest, this tree will come first. This tree will grow first. Look at this. Uh, this is also a commercial tree. Look how big it is. It can be bigger than this. It can be bigger than this. These are commercial trees anyway. And it is good for furniture. Really tall. Yeah, yeah. Now this is also a Maranti species of trees. We have it in the museum this time, the sample, Maranti block. Uh, this is also a kind of Maranti, you know? Okay. Uh, commercial trees. Now, look at this. This is a rotan, a big rotan. Up. No, no, no? no bamboo. That, that's not it. No, no, this is not a bamboo. This is it a looks like a bamboo. This is uh, one species of rotan. Uh, I think uh, the local call it the mamu, the biggest rotan. Mm. Uh, okay, mamu. See, we, we we replant some new species of tree. Mm. This is actually called the root root laut. Uh, from the it is from the seaside. So in the forest gap, we we replant some new species of tree. This is how we conserve. Uh, look at that monkey. There's a big monkey down there. Oh, we have one there with the pigs. Look at that. That is called the long, long term cup monkey. Eh? Oh, it's not hot, man. Look at that. Look We're trying to create like a really familiar environment for them to live as their origin ones. Uh, no. I like the monkeys, they are wild monkeys. We don't release it. Nobody, no, we don't release any monkeys in this park. Most monkeys, they don't, they don't break the seed. They mm. consume it. Mm. So after they go to another place, they land on another tree, they drop the seed from there. Food. From the food. <laughs> from the food. Yeah, from the food. And then what happens is that the, 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 the seed will germinate. Oh. So that that is why wild animals are very important in the forest. So they are considered as carriers of seed disposal, mm. especially primates. We, don't, we call it primates. Monkeys are primates. Orangutan are primates. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they are very good in in. They are very important for uh, in, in for, for, for our forest. Mm -hmm. So that's why we we we, we, we conserve them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also birds. 